Welcome to another lockdown book review. We are well on our way to getting towards 21 of these, which of course is my goal for the start of 2021. Today we are looking at an illustrated treasury of Swedish folk and fairy tales illustrated by John Bauer. Um, so if you don't know who John Bauer is, you maybe have never seen any fairy tale illustrations. Um, again, so this is first of all, quite a reasonably good sized book. And as we look through it, we'll see the print quality is quite nice. So John Bauer is um, a fairy tale illustrator who was born in 1882. And this book, um, it's very nice to see, has a little um, section at the beginning talking about his life. He was an extremely prolific illustrator in his time. He did a lot of work um, in Sweden. Um, and his work pops up all the time in fairy tale illustration and in um, vintage illustration groups. Unfortunately, um, he died in 1918. Um, his, he was only 36, really unfortunate. Um, his wife and, he, and his child were together with him on a ferry and it, uh, it sank. And so unfortunately his life and his family were cut very, very short. Um, but he was a very prolific artist, and so, um, yeah, we do have a lot of material from him. So I'm in the process of reading through this book. I'm really enjoying it. Um, of course, I love to read fairy tales from different cultures, and uh, this is a really, really nice book. The illustrations are quite large. They're well copied. Um, one thing you will see with John Bauer's work is that, like a lot of illustrators at his t in his time um, in the... Um, the early 19 in the early 20th century um, and the late well late 19th early 20th century he worked a bit more in a monochrome palette um, lots of uses of browns and whites and contrast in his work and he's one of the artists that I really like to see um, who does that but of course he can do color and he always draws horses again in a very specific way he is a very very stylized way of illustrating horses as we can see here um, very much looking like sort of the horses up in northern Scandinavia. So not every page is illustrated, but there are a lot of illustrations throughout. Um, and as you can see, um, his work is very enduring. It's been very popular. Um, unlike Kai Nielsen, whose work sort of fell out of favor, unfortunately, um, John Bauer has never been out of favor as far as I know, and you can find lots and lots of books with his illustrations in them. But it is nice to get one that has a lot of stuff together. So if you're interested in um, getting to know more about Swedish folklore and in getting a good, illustra a good uh, illustrated fairy tale book, I would definitely recommend this one. Again, here's the cover. This one was put out, this is the, again, the centenary edition. And it was put out by, um, does it say here, Floris Books. So if you're looking for this one, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And again, it's nice to see that also it has the little ink illustrations. Arthur Rackham also did a lot of these. It was really common for books published during the golden age of children's illustrations to um, have less color plates, but um, a lot of black and white illustrations in ink or in silhouette that would appear more frequently throughout the book. And like I said before, we see this a lot in Arthur Rackham's publications. So if you're looking, yeah, if you're looking for a really good fairy tale book, I would definitely recommend this one. I find his uh, his work really atmospheric. Again, very strong use of um, ink washes in in very in a very limited color palette. Um, he is somebody who really knew how to control value and how to use the composition to the best advantage um, and really worked within the limits of the technology at the time. And this is actually, again, if you talk about Arthur Rackham's work, um, a lot of the early publications of Arthur Rackham's work and sometimes later publications that haven't done color correction, the colors are often very brown and muted, more in sepia tones. And this is actually the result... Um, of the printing technology not yet capturing the correct color. So um, you had artists who could sort of compensate for this, but if you see Arthur Rackham's work in more recent publications, um, or if you're even looking online on Pinterest or through illustration groups, you'll often see versions of uh, Golden Age illustration work where some, you'll have, you'll have two 
versions of the same image and one will be much more brighter and much more colorful. And that's because the second one is from a modern scan or a modern reproduction um, where they have more true to life color. Whereas in a lot of these um, older books in the original publication, the colors really could be very muted. Um, I do love the moose. <laughs> Again, coming from Canada, I think the moose is really great. It's very good at drawing moose. Um, yeah, so this is just also something to be aware of when you're looking for, um, for resources on children's book illustrations that very often uh, the, in the older, the older publications or people who are reproducing images from older publications, the colors are definitely more muted. They're more in the sepia, um, very brown looking often. Um, it sometimes takes a modern reproduction to bring out the more intense colors like the blues and the yellows and the reds. And that again is just changes in printing technology of the time. Um, so yeah, also just something to think about. Um, context is always very important. Um, I definitely feel like John Bauer is part of the same sort of group of illustrators who were working in um, Northern Europe at that time. You can definitely see sort of the connection to Kai Nielsen and to other Danish and Swedish illustrators. There were quite a few. Um, and a lot of times these really strong vertical compositions, um, very strong use of black, um, the decorative quality, the quality of the line work. It's really part of a group. I can definitely see, like, if it was Kai Nielsen, it would be, like, you know, more straight. It would be flatter. John Bauer uses a bit more of an organic line, a little bit less stylized, but still really good. So, yeah, again, if you're looking through um, material and you come across books by John Bauer, definitely worth picking up. And I probably didn't say a lot that's new here. Um, but now you have seen this book, and this is one I was really happy to get. And we have one last one with a horse. Oh, no, we have a beautiful deer. Very lovely. He really was good at drawing animals as well, and you can see really um, the more abstracted background that contrasts with this very lifelike and very furry deer. It's really beautiful. So, this is definitely a good book to pick up for adults and children and anybody interested in Swedish folk and fairy tales. And in John Bauer, I would definitely recommend it.